Hello, planner friends. Welcome back to another month of a meal planning. Um, I shouldn't say another month because I, I really kind of skipped September. I just got so late in the month that I only got two weeks in. Um, so, eh, didn't go so well. Um, I feel like this, I mean, we are already to what the seventh today. Yeah. The seventh, eighth, 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 first of the eighth. Um, so again, I'm late to the thing. And honestly, every single day is a struggle. So this is why I don't know why I take so long to do this. I don't know like why I don't, I should probably start doing this in the middle of October. Like by the middle of October, I should have November done, especially with the holidays coming and everything. Because honestly, this is like much taken off of my, my shoulders when I have a plan and I know that there's groceries in there for it. It's so much easier. I'm telling you. Okay. So I have a few key days in here that I need to like kind of highlight, um, the 23rd and the 31st, obviously Halloween and my hunt, my son's birthday is here. I have a wedding here. Again, if you have seen all of my other ones, it's not very fancy. Um, I'm just using monthly spreads from old happy planners um, that I didn't use. Uh, this is from the wellness, I think. Um, it doesn't need to be fancy. You can make it fancy. I've seen, um, oh, I don't, I can't remember who it is. I'll link it up here um, or put it up on the screen. She did so amazing. And I'm like, oh, I need to step up my real planning game but she lettered all of it and all that kind of stuff. Maybe next month I'll do that when I have a little bit more time and I'm not so far behind. Um, but yeah, so I just need to write those things in because honestly, those dates, um, well, I probably do need to wait and see what day my husband has off for my son's birthday. Um, I need to figure this out. Um, but yeah, I do. And then this is actually another important day because my youngest son will go back face to face on this day. So it might be a little bit different, but I will still be home all day with my oldest um, that will still be virtual. So it's just going to be a little different. Next month is definitely going to be different because my youngest will be going to school two days a week and off two days a week. So next month will definitely be a little bit different. So what we are going to do today is um, I'll actually go back because I want to go back and write in what we actually had so that I kind of know like the meats that we've kind of had. Um, we had burgers. Let's see. It's kind of easier sometimes if I take this out of here. Um, we had meatball sliders or I'm sorry, meatball subs. And it was a roast on this day. So we have had a ton of red meat. So um, today is just going to be leftovers. We need to get things like the roast eight. Um, there's still a couple of meatballs left over from meatball sliders. Um, and I don't even know if it, there is what there was a couple of burgers. So um, today is going to be a leftover day. And that's kind of like how I go about my month is I kind of know what things make a lot of food. Like obviously the roast kind of makes a lot of food, even though my husband was like, the roast was like, there wasn't any meat. And I'm like, it was a two and a half pound roast. <laughs> um, meatball subs definitely made a ton. I made a ton of meatballs, so that makes a ton. And burgers, we usually have one or two left over, but I don't know exactly. My husband did that whole meal, so I don't know if we even had any leftover. Um, so yeah, so tomorrow, Friday, I have a session. Um, so I need to pull some chicken out. Um, you will see that in past months, I think I've showed you guys this either a, I go kind of like off of what I already have done or B, I kind of have like a cheat sheet dinner idea. Um, and I kind of go off this when I'm when I'm not quite sure and things that I want to make. So we obviously need to get away from the red meat. So we need to make a chicken meal. And we've recently had chicken Alfredo, like my go-tos. We've had chicken roll-ups recently. Um, maybe we'll make some like chicken quesadillas. I think we're going to do chicken um, quesadillas. I 
about chicken quesadillas. And they're easy. It's a nice Friday night meal. Especially since I have a wedding um, on Saturday that I need to prepare for. And I have a session that night. So, lots going on. And I might not get home until like 7 o'clock that night. So, I kind of like that idea. Quesadillas. All right. So, Saturday is that. Sunday we have baseball and we don't know how long it's going to be because it's playoffs. It could be one and done or it could go all day. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm going to leave Sunday blank for just a few minutes. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it blank because I just, like I said, I don't know exactly how that day is going to go. Honestly, it could be a real short day and we could be back home or it could be a nice long day. You know what? I, well, you know, okay. So we haven't made beef stroganoff and that is a favorite in this house. So I'm going to go here cause this is going to be tacos. Of course. See, I don't like radio outside. I've already popped it out and I put it back in already. Why? tacos so we'll do beef stroganoff oh you know what nope we are going to be meeting some family members for a meal we don't need anything here i forgot okay so beef stroganoff here All right, so now let's see. Um, oh, that's right. I have hamburger actually that needs to be cooked. Spaghetti. We have hamburger that needs like it just got taken out yesterday. We'll be cutting it real close. There's no way. Maybe I'll make it. For, oh, there's just no way I'm going to make it tomorrow either. Should be okay. Um, all right. Spaghetti. Um, so most likely there'll be leftovers. If not, there's definitely leftovers here from tacos. Because that's two meat. Brown meats too. And, and that's what I do. I just kind of go through and I just talk my way through it. I don't really, we haven't had that in a long time, but that's another brown meat. That's another red meat. And I said, I want to be using the, so this month I really want to cut down my grocery bill. Unfortunately, I let my kids and my husband go with me to the grocery store and I uh, shouldn't have done that. You know what? We're going to do a chicken pot pie because I haven't made one of those in a while. Um, yep. And I'm so I'm trying to use things that we have in our, um, in our freezer outside and to cut down our bill drastically. So I need to think about that. So I think we'll do pork chops here. As we have those. I'm trying to think of everything else that we have. I really want to make a soup. And I have potatoes. Do I have potatoes that will last until here, though? Let's 
because it's going to be a leftover day. It's too many meals. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. So, make sure you guys can all see. And like I said, I mean, from what I'm doing right here, this, I mean, I've, I've done two weeks worth of dinners and not a lot of time. And I'm trying to vary up everything. I'm trying to make some days easy. I'm trying to make some, you know, not so hard. Um, the one thing that I do want to do, which I guess I could use my old phone. I do have this down here for pictures. Um, it's just broke. <laughs> It, you can't see out of half of it, um, is I've been trying to incorporate a few new dishes, um, because as you can see, like my dishes are getting kind of redundant. Um, and I do want to just make, oh, you know what? Ham, those ham and cheese sliders, those, bo the boys were like all over those, even though that's not something I love. But the kids loved those. Oh, I went past it. Where did you go? Oh, maybe I didn't pass it. There it is. Um, and I think I've posted a few new things. Oh, this cheddar biscuit topped pot pie. I was going to try that. So yeah, I just kind of go through and make a few notes on things that maybe we'll like to try. Like I haven't tried anything like this before and that seems, that's easy, easy, cheesy baked tortellini. Um, and really I think all I'd have to get out of it is probably the tortellini noodles. So I think we'll do that. We had spaghetti way up here. So, yep, we're going to do bake. Tortellini. We will do, I want to try that chicken fried rice. We tried this last month and it was delicious. So you've seen that on last month's so that was our new thing to try for that day maybe we'll just make this best olive garden chicken i haven't had many chicken olive garden chicken oh that was a there we go then let's see what did I just think of? Oh, the ham and cheese sliders. So let's do that. That is a lot of meals. Um, that won't have any leftovers. That I will try and make no leftovers out of that. This won't have any leftovers. This might have leftovers. So we don't have many leftovers from that. That's fine. Birthday. This is my son's birthday. So we might just like do a restaurant here so I'll leave a blank um and what was I thinking I just lost my train of thought did ham and cheese sliders I just forgot what I was about to put hmm this is of course pizza I forgot what I was about to put. I know it was leftovers, but I don't know. Anyways, uh, tacos again here. And I can't remember. Oh, breakfast. Breakfast for dinner. Um, that's what I wanted to do. Let's do... We haven't done that in quite some time. Let's do, I think it's, I might make breakfast here. Let's 
do it here. I also do not know if my oldest is going to continue to have Tuesday, Thursday practices because his season is over here. But my youngest might. They are going to be playing until... Oh, you know what? I have pork tenderloins. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Pork tenderloin. So another way if you are getting stuck, kind of like I'm starting to get stuck on some meals here, is to have, you know, every day be something. So Sunday is like, Sunday is like, like we're starting to get like a pork day. Um... Monday is like a pasta day, Tuesday, that's much easier sometimes for people so that they don't have to think about like, oh, I had, you know, a pasta here and a pasta there, you know, type thing and that kind of thing. I might do that for November. You could do like a no meat day. Ooh, this family can't probably do that. We love our meats. Um, but you can do like a, you know, a vegetarian day. You can do, um, you know, a um, soup day. Like there's some people that make soup on every Thursday, that type of thing. So you can definitely do that. So this will be a leftover day because we have not had a leftover day since the last week. Um, two more. So leftover tacos. Um, let's see here. I really haven't had a ton of chicken. Honestly, chicken here, and usually we are chicken. Okay, so we have like, had like one chicken every now and then. Um, let's see. Like I said, I sometimes just... We already did chili, even though chili was like... When did it? we have chili? I did chili somewhere back in here. I never did get to do that because I couldn't find the Italian pack, so maybe I'll do that. So I'm going to do... Um, crack pot, creamy chicken. And that gives me time to find the Italian packets. And when I find them, I'm going to buy a ton. Um, and we will do leftovers here because we'll have them from tacos and chicken and all that kind of stuff to eat before we get to there. Okay. So uh, that is kind of how I meal plan for a whole month. I know I skipped like, you know, a couple of days up here. So now from what I do so that I can like, I get questions on my budget videos all the time. Like how do you plan for a family of four on $250? Now $250 is definitely micromanaging a ton and using Ibotta um, if you don't know about Ibotta, definitely get on that and fetch. I use both of those. Um, so about every other month uh, with Ibotta, actually lately I've been getting like $20, $30 a month back from them. Um, so, and I will use that in my grocery budget and not count it as our budget. So sometimes I'll get like a grocery budget of two seventy, um, because I know I have $20 for my bada and I, like, I ration that guys, trust me, I ration it. Um, and even right now, like my kids are at home for lunch and it is a struggle. My 12 year old has been eating out of control. Um, but I definitely make sure to, and that's why I haven't been having as many leftover days also because he's been eating a lot of it for lunch. Um, so there hasn't been as many leftovers as I'm used to. So how I go about this is, and like I told you, we do have a freezer, um, still stocked full of a lot of meat. I also had an amazing deal on hamburger last month. That's why I went over in my grocery budget last month. Um, was this it? No, I got it on a, I was going to say my, one of my coupons or one of my receipts over here. Kroger had three pound ground beef for five ninety eight. Three pounds for $6. Like it was a great deal for these times. Sorry about the shake. Um, so I definitely make sure I try and use, uh, we're going to try and use what we have. So... With that being said, I will, for chicken quesadillas, most likely run and get a rotisserie chicken, which is like $3.99 here. It's just better chicken with our, um, with our quesadillas. Now there is times where 
I won't and I like will have a chicken already chopped up and ready to go in our freezer because like say I unthawed a bunch of chicken didn't get to use it I will cook it up chop it up and put it back in the freezer for quesadillas but so I'll go get a rechisserie chicken here but we have tortillas cheese all of the things for chicken quesadillas for that so I don't need to meal plan for that it's going to be here that I'm going to have to go through and I will make a grocery list of everything that I need but so what I kind of do is for spaghetti I need a two pounds of ground beef um I will need maybe meatballs and a, I put polo sausage in mine and I don't think I have a polo sausage I'll have to go back and look, but my husband's been eating a lot of that for snacks. Um, so I'll have to get that. I have spaghetti and I'll probably have need sauce also. We go through a ton of spaghetti sauce and I just don't have any on hand right now. So, but I have the meat, so I'll have the meat. So I kind of go through, sometimes I write it on here. Sometimes I write it on a separate piece of paper and that way I do try and grocery shop for at least two weeks if I can grocery shop and there's something on sale, like sale. So say like last month I found ground beef on sale. I bought six pounds of it to get me through a while. I should have bought more honestly at that deal, but I knew I was getting down to the end of my grocery budget. And I didn't want to go over that much. And I, that September was already a bad month. Chicken we have, um, I will probably have to buy a pie crust, but we also have frozen veggies and I have cream of chicken. Um, and potatoes. We have frozen potatoes also done. More ground beef. So I'll need another three. We do three pounds at a time. I'm actually going to have to up that to almost four, three pounds of that. We have tortillas, cheese, all the stuff for tacos. Won't need anything for that. Potato soup. I will have to look up. It's a Britain recipe, but I have potatoes um, and all that kind of stuff, but I will have to look up all the extra stuff and go off of that. This is a family dinner of beef stroganoff, another two pounds for this of ground beef. So this is kind of how I go through. I will add up all the ground beef. So say I didn't have anything here and I needed to go grocery shop already. I would need um, five, seven pounds of ground beef. Let's see. Um, seven, eight pounds. That was a pound I seen eight. Uh, 11 pounds. So automatically I know I need 11 pounds of ground beef per month. Um, and I've kind of gotten to the point where I know kind of like how much ground beef we eat in a month ish. It is anywhere from that 11, which we probably used more up here. Um, I think I already made tacos, but, um, I know that we pretty much go through anywhere from, like 13 to 15 pounds of ground beef a month um, in this family. So I know kind of what we need and I can stack up. If I find a good sale, I can stack up or I kind of know in my budget what we are going to need for that. Then I will go through and we have pork chops. We have pork chops. This will be um, something that I buy. It's actually a frozen meal. My kids love it. It is what it is. It's an easy meal for me. Um, I will buy those. Those are about $5. Um, chicken for this. I do need the Olive Garden dressing for that. So I will get that. This is just deli ham with some cheese and the Hawaiian buns. So I will get the Hawaiian buns. Like I said before, I just need the meat, which I have in my freezer, like I've already told you guys, and the tortellini and maybe some sauce, but I will buy, I already am buying sauce for this, so I should have enough for that. Meats, cheese, I'll probably have to buy cheese and tortillas for the second time. And then the creamy, um, I need Italian seasoning. I already have the chicken, um, and I think it needed cream of chicken, so I'll make sure that I have that in my stock. Breakfast, we have pancakes and syrup and all that kind of stuff for that, and eating out pizza. So that is how I just kind of grocery shop for the whole month. And that way I already know that I have everything. I can stick to a budget. I usually go right onto Kroger Clicklist or whoever's having the best sales and do it that way. As for breakfast, I already told you I make kids eat leftovers for lunch or peanut butter and jellies or something like that. So I always make sure that we have peanut butter and that kind of stuff on hand. Um, but for breakfast, I did go through... Did I go through in September? 
I didn't. I went through somewhere over here. I went through and made a list of breakfast that they can have. Now, they don't have to have it every Tuesday. They can have French toast, this, but one of the, they need to at least eat one of these a week. Um, that way they're not eating all of the cereal or all of the oatmeal. And you heard last month, I, in my budget video, you heard that they had amazing sales on oatmeal. So we have plenty of that. I will stock up on eggs. I will get, I only allow them to open one box of cereal at a time per child, I should say. We have things for pancakes. I make pancakes ahead and freeze or put them in the refrigerator. These are already frozen from Aldi and I have bagels. I just bought bagels last time. So that is what I do for that. And that is my meal plan. I try and make it as easy as possible. Like, and I just go through and like, so say both kids eat one bagel a week, plus me two bagels a week. I just make to sure that I have one set of bagels for each month. They freeze, they can go in the freezer and we get them out that week. So that's kind of like how I go through and make sure that we just have enough for the month or the two weeks. Um, I will most likely grocery shop on Monday, I believe. Yes. On Monday for the rest of this month. So maybe I'll put, maybe I'll show you guys in the end of this video, even though I wanted to have this video up way before Monday. Um, no, we're not going to do all that. Anyways, so I will go on to click list and I try and stay out of the stores. If I can try and, and not just because of COVID and everything else like that, but like I try and stay out of the stores for just picking up snacky stuff and that saves my budget a ton. So thank you guys so much for being here. Definitely let me know if this helps you and how you want a meal plan. I know so many people are say on my um, comments like, oh my gosh, I couldn't, I could never do a whole month. Try it try it one month. What, what's it going to hurt? Even if you meal plan for a month, you don't have to stick to it. Like, so say something comes up on Monday where I can't do that. I switch it for tacos, something easier. And because I already have the, I already have the meat. I already have everything. Like, so this isn't, like I said, like set in stone. It's just like on the day that I wake up and honestly, so now I'm going to show you my real planner. I have it in my planner in a sticker form now that I look at the meal plan for the next day or even the next two days so that I can pull out meat or anything that needs to be unfrozen and get it out there. That's just one thing that I do every day so that, and I already have it like, so I don't have to think about it every single day. Like that is like the biggest thing that I just gives me so much stress and anxiety is trying to figure out what is for dinner every day. And I just sat down in 20 minutes and less and figured out a whole month. Let me tell you how much stress that just took off of my, like my whole month. Try it. Even if you try it for two weeks, do it for two weeks. And then for the next month, for maybe November, sit down and try it for the whole month. And like I said, I think in November I will, um, go towards, um, going something every single day because that did at one point get a little bit like, uh, you know, type thing. And maybe one full day will be a leftover day type thing. So like every Wednesday will be a leftover day. All right. Thanks guys. You are amazing. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.